Hello students, hi, I am Tunumay Ghosh, the instructor of ITI Gorihat. I am back again in your online class in uh, this lockdown period. So, I am going to uh, start a topic today. Uh, before starting this topic, I am, uh, want to say you something that uh, I think you all know about uh, one thing I am showing you just. I am just, uh, don't want to uh, say this. I am showing you something. Uh, please uh, wait. Look at this. What is this? I know. I know and I know you all know this is Howrah Bridge. It was built in British India in 1942. Okay. This is uh, why I am telling about this. If we see this Howrah Bridge in a particular manner, in a big manner, you can see this Howrah Bridge like this. Ever you seen the Howrah Bridge structure? Can you watch these points? Sorry, these points. What is this? You know? What is this? This is basically rivet joint. This is basically rivet joint. And this total structure of the Saura bridge is made by rivet joint. So this is a very am amazing structure. Which is totally made by rivet joint. So rivet joint is a very important and uh, interesting topic for us so today's topic is river joint now uh, i am uh, starting want to start today's topic that is river joint and uh, i will learn you uh, how to draw river joints and uh, what is river joint and everything so i want to see you first what is river joint okay Joint mainly uh, three types. You can uh, say joint mainly three types. One is permanent joint, another is temporary joint, and another is semi permanent joint. Okay. What is permanent joint? If you joint two structure by weld joint by welding, then it is permanent joint because you cannot reopen the joint without destructing the structure. So this is permanent joint. What is temporary joint? You can say nut and bolt joint. You can join to structure by nut and bolt. If you join that structure by nut and bolt, you can reopen it without destructing the structure. So, this is temporary joint. Okay. But rivet joint is a semi-permanent joint because if you want to reopen it, the structure will not be destroyed, but the rivet will be destroyed. I will show you. So, this is semi-permanent joint. So, now I am want to show you what is rivet joint by some uh, uh, arrangements which is available to me. And uh, look, this, I have two plates with me. Okay. I will join two plates by rivet joint. Okay. So first we have to drill in this two plate which is made by me. We are looking this drill and here also there is a hole. First I want to say one thing that there is two types of basically rivet joint. One is lap joint. What is lap joint? Lap joint is one plate is lapping overlapping with another and this hole will match with each other will match each other one plate is overlapping with another okay and this is lap joint and when this joint is like this and another plate is put into the joint and this plate is also drilled this plate is also drilled and 
you put this joint like this and these two hole will be matching will be matched and if I join by rivet it then it will be called butt joint so I am again saying if we join this plate in overlapping the plate this is called lap joint and this this joint is keep in this manner and another plate is kept into it and if we joint like this this will be called butt joint now we want to see that how the rivet joint is met I'll show you how the rivet joint is met so I'm showing you first lap joint this is lapping overlapping and the hole is matched okay this type of things this is called rivet okay there are many kinds of rivet this is snap head rivet this is a kind you can say snap head rivet okay this type of rivet is taken and it is put into this hole like this okay put into this hole like this then uh, this portion is heated this portion is heated and a die is used for give the pressure on it and die is put into this and it is hammered if I hammer it then this portion will be a rivet type shape I am showing you just a minute I am showing you look I am hammering and the lower portion is heated if I withdraw it look this portion is shaped like rivet now your rivet joint is ready it is totally joint okay it is totally joint so this is the rivet joint now one question is here that these portions will be locked how we locked it we will lock this portion by caulking tools this is a tool like this and will hit this portion and by this type of tool we will just engage we will just test these points with the structure and lock it with the main structure and this is done by caulking tool and this procedure is called caulking okay this procedure is called caulking another procedure is important that is fullering what is fullering when if uh, you can uh, imagine that this plate is long like this and this plate is long like this this is extended here and this portion is extended here upper plate is extended from like this and lower plate is extended like this so this plate is overlapping here where these two plates is overlapping a procedure is done for locking these two plates is called fullering this called fullering so this tool will be called fullering tool and this will be pasted this two structure by hitting this portion and using this fullering tool I will be locked these two plates so this is the procedure of privating okay so after rivetting you have to do caulking and fullering okay this is important why this is important i am uh, i will explain you later and another thing i will show you uh, that is uh, uh, i'm uh, said you before that is bar joint i'm just showing you uh, what is bar joint uh, just give me some time 
This is part joint. This is butt joint. You can see the, the these two plates which is below. This is in butt joint position and on the main plate there is a cover plate and this is riveted in the same manners and this is called butt joint. Okay. So this is the practical uh, just a demonstration how the rivet joint is done now I am going to show you how the rivet joint is uh, drawn and how the rivet joint uh, are classified and other things the theoretical parts now I am one to uh, explain you about riveting, rivet joints and their theoretical parts and drawing parts. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, let's uh, see. Look. <clears throat> this is rivet joint. You can see I am already saying I already I have demonstrating it that this is rivet this two plate is riveted and this is done how it is done I am showing it this is process of riveting and this is caulking procedure I have said it this is caulking procedure okay and this is fullering procedure where this plate is joined by fullering tool one thing and that there is two plate like this uh, one plate is coming in this manners and another plate is coming this manners so you can easily understand this is lap joint because this plate is overlapping so this is lap joint so I have already explained you how the Caulking of the rivet is done by caulking tool and how the fullering is done by fullering tool. After fullering, this angle must be 85 degree. Okay. This angle must be 85 degree. Now I am I want to show you how many rivets are there. I am showing you that uh, this is uh, just a minute. I have just show you these parts. This is rivet. I said you this is rivet. So you can compare this part. You can compare this part with this. This is snap head rivet. Look again I am saying this is snap head rivet. There are so many kinds of rivets where this is totally shown in this figure this is snap head or snap head or cup head rivet this is pan head rivet and like this so many kinds of rivets are there we can use I will give you in the description of the description box of the YouTube and it, it will be available in uh, to you in PDF form okay so this is kind of rivets now I am going to rivet joints. Okay. Uh, I just want to show you something and want to write something in this uh, paper. Rivet joint. Is basically two types. How many types? this is two types one is lap joint another is bar joint 
we know it and I have already described it what is lab joint what is bar joint okay and this lab joint and bar joint can be classified in some parts like it can be like this single riveted double riveted single riveted double riveted triple riveted okay so lab joint in classified in three parts three types single riveted double riveted triple riveted like this what is single riveted what is double riveted i am going to explain you later now um, but joint okay I, okay i want to show you how the uh, it is classified in single riveted and uh, double riveted look this is lab joint why this is lab joint because this plate is coming here like this and the upper plate is coming like this so these two plates is overlapping with each other so this is obviously lab joint okay so this is jointed by two rivets this is jointed by two rivets you can show you can see that here two, two plates are jointed by one rivet so this is single riveting okay and this is jointed by two rivets so this is double riveting okay and this is also double riveted but here the riveting manners if you this is the front view of the riveting rivet joints and this is the top view of the rivet joints okay from the top view if i can see in this portion this is in chain manner so this is chain riveting i can say that this is lab joint double riveting and chain riveting but this is lab joint double riveting but zigzag riveting so we can classify it into also two parts zigzag and chain so i am writing it here this lab joint is also classified in two parts that is chain and zigzag chain and zigzag okay now bar joint so bar joint is also classified in two manners that is chain and zigzag first i am writing it chain and zigzag so z i see chain and zigzag okay and this is totally again i'm i can classify it into another two manners that is single cover plate and double cover plate what is single cover plate and what is double cover plate i'm explaining you okay i'm explaining you what is single cover plate and what is double cover plate and here also for bar joint here also the single riveting double riveting triple riveting is applicable for bar joint also single riveting double riveting triple riveting is applicable now i am showing you 
how the bar joint is classified. Look, here is the bar joint. Look, two plates. One plate is like this and another plate is like this. Two plates is meeting in this point and over this there is a cover plate okay and two riveting in this side one riveting and in this side one riveting is done so this is bar joint and one cover plate is used here so this is called bar joint single riveting but here the main plate is this which is in bar joint condition and two cover plate is used two cover plate is used here so this is double cover plate or double cover strap okay and in in this side one riveting is here and in this side one riveting is here so this will be called this is called single cover plate bar joint and single riveting this is very important thing though we can see two rivets here but in this side one side there is one rivet and another side there is one rivet so this is single riveting if this is the mid portion of the main plate in this side there is rivets one row of rivets so this is single riveting and in this side one row of rivets so this is single riveting if there is another riveting like this and here also then this will be called double riveting that means in the as per main joint in this side if there is two rivet then it will be called double riveting and if there is three rivet it will be called triple riveting and uh, and other side also if there is um, it must be the same if there is two rivet there also be two rivets so this then this will be called double riveting and one side if there is three rivet and in this side is three rivet then it will be called triple riveted here is also like this in main for uh, in main plate this is the joint here is one rivet and here is one rivet so this is single riveting but double cover strap if there is three rivet then it will be called triple riveted and this will and this side also will be three, three rivets and then it will be called triple riveted if there is two rivets and here is two rivets this will be called double riveted okay i think this is clear to you how it is designated hmm? so how the question is come i am uh, showing you how the questions is come uh, this pictures will be again i am saying these pictures will be available to you in pdf form in description box these pictures will be available to you in description box okay and um, again i am saying you this is front view sectional front view and this is sectional top view so i want to just want to show you when this is in lap uh, i'm showing you just this way when this is lap joint condition this is in lap joint condition look look the plate look the plate this is in lap joint condition okay this is in lap joint condition so this is front view and from top view from top view this is like this this is like this this is 
top view condition so in this figure you can match with my demonstration this is This is lab joint in front view and this is top view in lab joint. Okay. And if you uh, see it from uh, for uh, bar joint, you can also consider this as a bar joint and front view of a bar joint and this is top view of a bar joint. Okay. Now, I want to show you how the rivet joint is drawn how the rivet joint is drawn i am showing just one one rivet joint i'll be i'll draw it one rivet joint i will draw and other the joints you can draw by watching my videos it is very easy to draw a rivet joint i want to uh, say you that this is for IJ students so there is some consideration here uh, what is the consideration what is uh, uh, the drawing procedure I am uh, going to show you now first the question how the question is how the question will come may come some points must be given that what is the type of rivet say i want to draw lab joint lab joint double riveting and this is zigzag i'll draw it this thing okay so we have to consider some basic formulas or basic empirical relations for this which is that i'm drawing it and as per the drawing as per my drawing I will show you what are the what are the empirical relations and how it is drawn I will when I will use that empirical relations I will explain you what are the empirical relations here now one thing uh, should be mentioned in your uh, problem that is what is the thickness of the plate Say this is 10 mm. Okay. So first, I have to calculate the diameter of the rivet. Dia of rivet. That is formula is 6 root T. Where is thickness of the plate is T okay and the diameter of the rivet is d so diameter of the rivet is equal to 6 root t okay then this will be calculated like this and if you calculate it it will be near about 18 mm this is also in mm okay this is also in mm i am using this formula okay for calculating the diameter of the rivet and this is by calculating this i am getting the diameter of the rivet is 18 mm what is the diameter of the rivet diameter of the rivet is this diameter this portion diameter okay not this portion this portion which i am handling this portion diameter is called rivet diameter okay so rivet diameter is 18 mm in this portion so what is uh, what will be the uh, thickness 
of the plate the thickness of the plate is 10 mm and the diameter of the rivet is 18 mm now now i am going to draw it now i am going to draw it now i am going to draw it so please uh, just wait for a minute okay so first i have to draw two plates oh, sorry pencil Okay, I have this pencil with me. I am drawing two lines. The gap will be two lines, must be ten mm. The gap will be Two lines must be 10 mm. Now another line is drawn here. This gap is also in 10 mm. So three lines are drawn, which is 3 mm uh, in gap of 10 mm. My gap is, I think, is, when I will draw it, it must be in proper way. I did not take the dimensions now I am taking the dimensions and doing it properly this is 10 mm and this is 10 mm so this will be the one line in gap of 10 mm and this is another line in gap of 10 mm okay hmm? so if I consider this is the upper plate and you can use breaking line here and if you consider this is the lower plate you can use breaking line here that means there is two plate overlapping each other there is two plate overlapping each other okay now here uh, you can you will um, must draw a center line here okay center line here hmm? and rivet diameter is 18 mm i am taking the rivet diameter 18 mm and i am drawing the rivets diameters okay this is rivet diameter so now i am want to explain you that what is pitch and back pitch this is important for my drawing that look i have drawn just these two plate and river diameter but when i am using in top view there is a distance between two divots this distance is called pitch and this the horizontal distance between two rivets is called back pitch. I want to say that for our ITI syllabus, as per our ITI syllabus, we can consider this pitch is, is equal to 3D and back pitch also is equal to 3D. I am just considering it, but this is not the procedure I want to say because this is a design part we have to calculate the pitch and back pitch by considering something that how the rivet fails the rivet may fail by shearing by tearing or by compression considering these things we have to calculate the pitch and back pitch but this design part is not included in our ITI syllabus so, I am assuming this pitch is equal to 3D 
and this back pitch is equal to 3D. This is same. Assuming this, I am doing, I am drawing this drawing, this picture. So, uh, as per this assumption, I am again starting my drawing. So, back pitch is what I have said 3D. That means 3 into 18 because 18 is the diameter that is 36 mm so from one rivet to another rivet distance will be sorry one please uh, there is a mistake here 3 into 18 that is 54 mm not 36 sorry sorry and I have to calculate 54 mm and that will be a point and there will be also a center line and I will also take diameter of the rivet here and this will be again 18 the diameter will be 18 that is this diameter will be 18 this diameter will be 18 okay so this rivet part is complete now i have to draw the upper portion that means rivet head how will i draw it i will draw it by some empirical relation again okay I have to use some empirical relation again what is the empirical relation here one thing please Please, I just want to show you something. Sorry for interruption. No, sorry, I'm not identifying it. This rivet head will be point eight <coughs> D. I am calculating point eight D. I just taking some time from you. Just wait for a few minutes. Just wait one minute. Sorry for the interruption. I'm back again. I have some problems. Okay. Uh, this height will be 0.6D. This height will be 0.6D. So, 0.6 into D. So, 0.6 into 18. What will be it? What will be it? This will be near about uh, if I calculate it
uh, if I calculate it and this will be 9 11 near about 11 mm okay this is near about 11 mm uh, still I am calculating it I want to calculate this zero point six into one eight. This is ten point eight and near about eleven mm. So I am right. This is eleven mm. And I have to calculate one empirical relation 2D. This is 2 into 18, that is 36. Okay. So I have to calculate point 0.6D, that means 11 mm in top portion. 11 mm. Here to here is 11 mm. And 36, th half of 36 is 18. So from the middle portion, from the middle portion, here will be 18 and this side will be 18. Okay. These two sides will be 18 and this is 0.6D. This is 0.6D means 11. So you have to make a curve like this by using French curve or freehand you may also use freehand for draw the rivet head. Like this, this is rivet. In the same manners, I will draw the lower riveted. This is the end point, and this is the end point, and the height will be 11 mm. So you can draw the rivet below riveted like this. This is a below riveted and you can dark this point and this rivet is also like same. This will be 11 and this will be 11 and this part will be 18, 18. From the middle point this will be 18 and this will be 18. So, you have to draw the rivet head like this by using curves, French curves or any other instrument. Top rivet will be like same, it will be like this. This is the top riveted. It will be available in PDF format in your description box. So this is another rivet. Two rivets is drawn here. Now the riv one Again, one empirical relation is important that is 1.5D. This will be 1.5 into 18, that is uh, 18 and 27. And this value from this point to this point 
end point will be 27 this point to this point that means ending of the plate this is 27 and there will be angle here this is called this angle must be 85 degree this is fullering angle okay this is fullering angle and this part is called margin this part will call the margin margin m again i have i am uh, just darking the plate so that you can understand the plate properly this is the top plate and I am ending the below plate and this is also 27 this will be ended here this angle will also be 85 degree this angle will also be 85 degree this is fullering angle and this will be ended like this this plate is ended like this so this place is endless this plate can be go in this side and this plate can go this inside so this is the front view of the riveting now I am drawing the top view of the riveting. Okay. Top view of the riveting you have to extend this center lines like this. Okay. And you have to draw projections line from here from here from here from here also okay and from here from here if you want to show the top plate then you can consider this is like this I'm showing the top plate I'm showing you the top plate so this is the top plate This is the top plate and this is the bottom plate. As the bottom plate like this and this is a bottom plate and these two lines is going below the upper plate these lines will be dotted these two lines will be dotted so this is the upper plate and this is the bottom plate now I want to 
draw the top view of the rivet heads okay so first i need a uh, compass and the diameter will be 18 and from this point you have to draw a circle first rivet okay and this will be invisible from the top so this will be dotted because this is the main riveting rivet head this is dotted and rivet head will be visible this will be form line now i said you before that the i am considering the rivet pitch pitch of the rivet okay i am considering is 3d that is 3 into 18 that is 54 and back pitch pb or pr you can say it reverse pitch this is also 3d and this is also 54 i am just considering it i am said it before so this is the value of back pitch this is the value of back pitch which is 54 P R and this is 54 sorry 54 and this is 54 back pitch is 54 okay now reverse pitch or back pitch is 54 so I have to calculate the another rivet draw the another rivet we have to calculate 54 from here 54 is coming here so this is the another circle point here and we have to draw another rivet here sorry and a dotted line will be like this so as it is zigzag riveting I am saying you before this is it is zigzag that means if it is chain riveted if it will be chain riveted the another in this side rivet will rivet will be drawn in same part but as it is zigzag so we have to draw the another rivet in the middle portion of this this is this value is what this value is 54 so i have to calculate the middle value of 54 that is 27 and from this point if i draw a line center line there will be another rivet as it is zigzag sorry not properly working okay 
this is nothing factor you can dark it by my hand also but it must be drawn by compass and the rivet diameter will be 18 and it will be dotted so this is zigzag so another rivet will be from this point to this point the value will be same this will be 54 okay and this will be a center line and another rivet will be drawn here and the middle rivet will be like this So, this is the value of pitch and this is the value of back pitch, P or reverse pitch. Now, look, this is the final figure of my drawing, this is the double riveted zigzag lab joint now i have to put one thing that is hatch line i'm using just using free hand but you should not use free hand you have to use 45 degree of set square to draw the hatch lines and this lower plate will be another direction for hatch line you have to put the hatch lines like this again I am saying this is the just uh, initial part how to draw river joint for IT students pitch and back pitch is considering 3d it should not be considered like this it should be calculated by design part but for drawing purpose this is enough okay one important thing is very important that I am using the cutting plane line where I am cutting the rivets this is important I am cutting the rivets from here if I cut this rivet like this from here by a uh, cutting plane then this rivet, rivet will be cut so there will be no hatch line in this portion but here there is no rivet so in this case we have to erase this line because we have to erase this line and we have to continue the hatch line in this manner why because when i am drawing the cutting plane line there is no rivet so in this position 
So if a diameter will not be shown, here will hatch line will be shown, plate is shown in in here, is shown here, but here rivet is cut. So rivet diameter is showing here. So where you putting the cutting line as per the cutting line you have to put the hatch line here if you use cutting plane line like this then this portion will be not under hatch line because this diameter will be shown then but there is no rivet this portion will be under hatch line then so where from where you are placing your cutting line this is important as per the cutting line plain line you have to have put the hatch line here this is important so this is the final figure of this problem that is that is which is this that is uh, lap joint zigzag and sing double riveting okay uh, you can see I just uh, this is the way of draw the rivet I'm just showing you some figures uh, this is you have to draw the same figures like this as per uh, the plate thickness plate thickness is you can consider this 10 mm and this is chain riveting and this is zigzag riveting which I have drawn here and if you want to draw the part joint it is also like same this but there will be a there will be a butt joint here and in this portion this is one plate and this is the another plate and upper part is cover strap or cover plate this is cover plate okay but the rivet drawing in front view and top view is same and putting the cutting plane line is also done by same manners okay this is double cover plate and what is the value of cover plate I will give you it in description box the value of uh, cover plate is also be calculated by empirical relations I will give you in description box what will be the value of the cover plate okay so this is the cover plate so this is bird joint single cover plate single riveted chain this is double cover plate bird joint single riveting chain if it is zigzag then it will be like this i think you are able to understand how to draw the rivet joints okay uh, if there is any problem you can write me in uh, in box uh, i'll answer it but uh, one thing Keep it remember that as per the front view, top view must be matched. That means these projections lines must be drawn, which I have drawn just few minutes before. And how I just shown you, uh, you have to draw it this top view as per the front view. Okay this is the middle position of the main plate and here the in this position the main plate is mating and in upper position this is the cover plate so i think you will be enough capable to draw the rivet joints as per your question if there is any problem please Write me, I will answer it. Okay? Today's class is over. Thank you.